What is up? Chase the Knee and Tano here, back with another banger of a review. Today we're taking a look at the 2009 Quentin Tarantino classic, da -da 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 -da. Seinfeld Season 4. Seinfeld Season 4 consists of two plots that end up converging by the end of the film. First follows American Lieutenant Aldo Rain, his group of ragtag Nazi hunters known by Germany as the Inglorious Bastards. Whoa, we said the thing. And eventually a German actress and undercover agent by the name of Bridget von Hammersmark on their quest to bring down the Third Reich and as many of its soldiers as they can along the way. The second plot follows Shoshana Dreyfus on her own long-standing journey to avenge her family who were slaughtered by, hold on, I'll let you guess, is it A, not Nazis, is it B, something besides Nazis, or is it C, Nazis? If you guys see, congratulations, you get the satisfaction of having at least one functioning brain cell. Transition. Now let me say right off the bat, Seinfeld Season 4 is a masterpiece. One of my all-time favorites, in fact. It has almost everything I want in a movie, and more. The least of which not being the absolutely stellar cast as most Tarantino flicks tend to have. This includes Brad Pitt as Aldo, probably most well-known otherwise for his role in The Shrine I Have in My Closet. Eli Roth as Donnie, probably most well-known for getting Tarantino to produce his film Hostel. B.J. Novak as Smithson, most well-known for The Office. David Brule as Frederick, most well-known recently for his role as Marvel's Baron Zemo. And of course, the always fantastic Christoph Waltz as Hans, also known as the object of my undying affection. All of them are on top of their game, along with many others I don't even have time to mention. And you can more than tell. <laughs> now, I feel the need to specifically emphasize Brad Pitt and Christoph Waltz here, because they play insanely entertaining characters in this film, on completely opposite sides of the spectrum, with Brad Pitt playing our wholly lovable protagonist, and Christoph Waltz being one of my favorite movie villains of all time. It's really insane. And that's not to ignore everyone else doing a phenomenal job, because I should reiterate, everyone here does an incredible job. It's, it's great. But specifically Brad Pitt, as far as I'm aware, I'm pretty sure this is his best movie. And as for Christoph Waltz, he just deserves any and all attention. Transition. Now what is a cast if direction is nothing? Fortunately, Seinfeld Season 4 does not feel the need to answer that question, as it oozes tension, fun, and engagement out of every orifice possible, then creates a few more orifices just so it can ooze more of that good stuff. Scenes like the first, or the bar scene, or the restaurant scene, or so many more are all masterworks in suspense and release with essays upon essays about one or so of those scenes alone. And while I'm nowhere near skillful enough to analyze this movie to that level, the quality is nonetheless obvious, especially when our Lord and Savior Christoph Waltz is involved. Now something I like to believe I do have the ability to analyze is fun. Or maybe not as much as I'd like to believe I do, considering I have a couple of hundred hours in Guitar Hero and Rock Band. But for all intents and purposes, let's assume I have an idea of what fun is. And Seinfeld Season 4 is certainly not lacking it. The film is able to balance out its intensity with humor, as many a Quentin Tarantino flick tends to do. There's so many laid-back comedic elements brought on by all of our characters that somehow fit within this gritty reality of a Nazi-occupied France, and at times will even mix with other fantastic elements of this film to create something even greater than the sum of its parts. Take, for example, the Gorlami scene, which is a fantastic display of tensity and absurdity. Transition. Another thing to mention is how great the violence is. Yeah, Alex, I'll take census said by those kids who harmed small animals when they were young and would probably grow up to be serial killers for 300. So, uh, music's on the rubric. Uh, unlike this paper, there's actually nothing on here. I just thought that'd be funny. But anyway, the music in Seinfeld Season 4 is good. <coughs> Tran. 
It's all messing with you. But I'm not the best at soundtracks, which is weird since I consider myself a big music guy. But I'll give it my best shot. So the soundtrack for Seinfeld Season 4 is actually quite good. It's not nearly as memorable as a lot of the other soundtracks in Quentin Tarantino's filmography, but it does its job very well. It gives off an air of that time, you know, the 40s, and it's very reminiscent of France and Italy, but also mixed in are more action-y scores and even rock tunes that kind of meld together the cultures we see in this movie and in general gives the film a feeling of... gonna sound like nonsense... a feeling of a modern... World War II historical fiction based non Western Western. It's an absolute word soup of nonsense, but it's also probably the best way to describe this movie in general. And the soundtrack is a, you know, right on the head. Transition. Now I've said a lot of words, too many words, most people would, would happen to say. And while I haven't said nearly everything I love about this movie, this has already gone on long enough, and I'm bad at organization, and I don't want to draw even more attention to how cluttered this already feels, and you know what? Who even needs information when I could just give you a number? A number which in this case is a light nine. It's not perfect, but god dang it's in some good old fashioned high quality, oddly intense, both in action and directing, fun at the expense of Nazis. And who doesn't love to watch a Nazi get it? Especially Christoph Waltz. He can get it anytime. <laughs> yeah, honestly, what is the deal with airline food? Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? Like, I just found out recently, it's not even made out of airlines. You know? Can you, can you do it? To say it is, and then it's, and it's not? Yeah. And you know what? No. Recently, these gas prices, woo wee. They have been costing money. Yeah, ever ever since gas was invented, I feel like it's been costing money, you know? Yeah, somebody had to sit. Yeah, they, somebody had to sit. You know, back in my day, it costed less money. But nowadays, now it costs, nowadays it costs more money. Yeah, yeah, you guys know what I'm saying. Thank you. Yep, somebody had to say it, you know? Yep, thank you, yep. Uh-huh. Yep. Thank you. Yep. Anyway, have you given this movie a watch? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? Is it the best year the best? What should I review next? Like the video if you like the video. Subscribe if you subscribe the video. Chase Huntano. Currently, in this never-ending pit of pain and despair, scientists refer to as an active volcano.